right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, though. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury uh -huh. rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Hound Dog. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That was lightning fast, that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Again, back into this position. Nice kick. Inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. It's very tricky when it throws that body. 
Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy can slay us there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Huge block there. to go in the round. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And they separate. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip, for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Finds a home for that left hook. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Big kick lands. Takedown defense holds up. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now. Here's the round. He's going to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. That's a big hook. every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with.
round. Signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came. Nice shot there, DC. He is officially running. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. jab there it's one thing to have length of course it's another to use it effectively beautiful job with that jab nice straight right lands well just as he did in the previous round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign too that is a huge shot right there dc you don't want to eat too many more of those no and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. A big off punch lands. Now he gets back in range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right punches there. Unable to land with that punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Able to check that kick as well. Straight punch land. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.